you out here buying the products I'm not even telling you to buy, which means now I'm gonna buy them. You see the circle? Welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm really excited to do it is going to be your monthly bestsellers. So I used to do this on Instagram where every month I would post just like a graphic and I would share what was the top purchase products from my affiliate links. And I decided that I wanted to make this into a video series because I still every month, even though I stopped doing it on Instagram, I still every month I go through and I look and see what people are buying through my links. So when we post something like affiliate links, like in my description box, they're all marked with an asterisk. Or if you shop with the YouTube shopping button, it'll say on there like Samantha March earns a commission. So what happens because of that and because of the like tracking link in there I get to see what people are actually purchasing now I can't tell that it's you specifically I can just see in this order they clicked on it from this video they clicked on it from this product and they ended up purchasing all of these products so I can see even if I talk about this lipstick I can see that you purchased the lipstick and a moisturizer and it's just interesting for me as the content creator to see what people are actually buying of course I want to see what people are buying out of my recommendations but I also think it's really interesting to see just in general what people are buying and from the list that I have today I have the top 10 bestsellers from the month of May there are two products on there one I don't think I've ever tried myself um, another one I, I haven't even been recommending recently but it was a very um, sold product and one like I hauled it but haven't tried it you know that sort of thing so I wanted to make this video because it's not just me saying hey these are my favorite products these are what the community is actually purchasing and I just thought as a whole as a collective it might be interesting for us to see that so this is a video that I want to do every single month once I get the reports and I can go through them if you like the style of video please definitely do let me know but I'm gonna be going through your top 10 best-selling purchases from the month of May. Okay, so I will link everything in the description box, of course, also in that YouTube shopping button will be there. YouTube has made it very handy to shop on YouTube now, just like just like all the platforms are doing. But I think I'm gonna start from, cause I, you know, I also wrote down like how much was sold. I think I'll go from 10 up to one. Um, so we'll end with like the top seller. And this one was a top seller by far. One and two were pretty high up there, but like number one, like, a lot of y'all were buying that. So at number 10, this is actually a skincare product and I put this in my, I put this one in my, one of my last favorites videos. I've also been trying to do my favorites videos really consistently, but this was in one of my last favorites videos. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's their bouncy bright facial mask. It says to correct and clarify, there's 10% azelaic acid and 1% uh, salicylic acid in here. This is something that I like to use in my night routine a couple of nights a week. It says this radiance boosting leave-on mask delivers a supercharged shot of the azelaic acid and salicylic acid deep into the skin to clarify uneven tone, fade, stu fade stubborn spots, and reduce the look of redness, revealing a brighter, bouncier, more even complexion. I've had this one probably now for like three months, maybe a little bit longer. Like I said, I use it really consistently in my night routine at least two times a week, if not three times a week. It definitely makes my my skin feel a lot smoother I can see a more brighter complexion when I use this and it's just one of those that I take this in my overnight bag with me a lot um, I have a pretty consistent skincare routine where I go back and forth on if I use something with like the azelaic acid or the salicylic acid or if I'm using something with retinol or if I'm using a more gentle serum so I kind of have like a pretty set schedule for my skincare routine and if I'm gonna be going somewhere and it's the night that I would be using the drunk elephant I'm like nope this mask is definitely going in my skincare bag so I've been a fan of Drunk Elephant um, skincare products for several years. Some of them I don't know if I feel like are necessarily worth the price, but I really like the ingredients in this one and I like the way that it makes my face look. At number nine, this is a product. Let me pull it up on my phone because I don't think I've ever tried this one. It is a hair care product from Briogeo. So this is the Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein and Moisture Strengthening Treatment. Like, do I need to buy this? Like. This is another thing why I find it interesting to go through what you are actually purchasing versus just like what I'm recommending to you because I saw this kept popping up and I was like, wait, what? I was like, I've never tried that. I've never recommended it. I was like, where, what, who, what, where? So this is $44. It says an intensive weekly treatment powered by rice water that delivers a balance of protein and moisture and is scientifically proven to double the strength of damaged, brittle, and broken hair after one use okay and the how to use it's after you shampoo wring out hair apply treatment evenly through damp hair leave-in for at least 10 minutes or you can use it overnight rinse out and then use a deep conditioner for best results use once a week i kind of want to try this now has any like are, are any of you that are watching right now i'm seeing you 
Did you purchase this one? Are you one of the ones that purchased this one? Because now I'm just curious, and I really like Briogeo. I use their, um, the Don't Despair Repair, like, uh, leave-in mask. I use it almost every single time after I do, after I wash my hair. Um, and I've really liked a lot of their products throughout the year. I use their deep conditioning mask is in my shower. So I know rice water really had a time. I want to say maybe it was during, um, the pandemic when we were all at home and people were like making their own rice water and bread and all the other things that we were doing. So I'm very curious about this one. I'm going to be putting this on my loves list and I think I'm going to be purchasing it. At number eight, wasn't super surprised to see this because I talk about the Dior blushes all of the time, but the Dior blushes were definitely really high up there. This one is in the shade pink. I also did recently purchase um, another shade. This one is in Rosewood. I love both of these. I'm so happy because Ashley, my best girlfriend at Ashley, she actually just purchased one of the Dior blushes herself and hers is like the lilac pink. I wore it yesterday and it is super pretty. These blushes are beautiful. I actually have pink on my cheeks right now. I did pretty minimal makeup today. I'm actually getting ready to go to a friend's house and we're just having like a pool party with some sushi, like very chill over there. So I didn't want to do a ton of makeup, but I did want to get this video filmed since I know we're already halfway through June. But when I was kind of, um, you know, doing my strategizing for what videos I want to post and I was kind of looking over past things and just like what I felt like I wanted to be sharing, I really liked this idea because I really like the idea of continuing to bring the community into my videos. If you have any suggestions, you know, sometimes I do like your top lip products. Um, I'm really excited to do the best sellers. Uh, just things like that. It just is, I just sometimes get really bored with like myself and like it's always my opinions and I just like, I'm like, oh, okay, here she is again. Like, I really would enjoy bringing the community in more. It makes me very happy. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I love the Dior blushes. Talk about them all the time. I purchased, these are $40 blushes. I've purchased them both. I could see myself purchasing more shades, even though I'm not a big blush girl, even though blush is definitely having its time right now. Um, I love these Dior blushes. I continue to recommend them. At number seven, this one was super interesting to me because this isn't a new product. I haven't really seen it like relaunched by the brand, but as I was going through the reports, I was like, the ColourPop Brow Pencil, the ColourPop Brow Pencil, the ColourPop Brow Pencil. I was like, should I be buying the ColourPop Brow Pencil? Like what's going on right now? I saw so many ColourPop Brow Pencils being sold and I'm just curious, did you buy it? Do you have it? Do you love it? Is your favorite brow pencil? Do you continue to repurchase it? I know that I've tried their brow pencil. It's like the Boss Brow or something like that. Like I, I know I tried it years ago and I think that I liked it, but I don't remember it being like such a standout to me. But honestly now, like I wanna try it again just because of how often I saw it pop up on the bestsellers list. So definitely let us know if you've tried it out. I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop, which is March Beauty. So um, their brow pencil, I wanna say was like under $10, I think it was when I looked at it. So if you're looking for a new brow pencil, the Sam Squad is saying, that's a good one. Getting like halfway through the list, I saw quite a few products um, being sold from Aversio Wellness. So I just kind of looked at everything. I looked at the YouTube shopping button. I looked at my Amazon reports. I looked at Magic Links, um, which is a, 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 like an affiliate partner that we can link through. I have a linking system through ColourPop, through Sigma, through Natasha Denona. Um, but I do also have one with Aversio Wellness. And Aversio Wellness, they're a brand that I've talked about quite, I, I want to say quite a bit on my channel, but um, I know I've talked about them on my second channel quite a bit more and I try to talk about them on Instagram, but they are a brand that carries uh, functional medicinal mushrooms. Um, so basically like I have one right here in front of me. So this is the Chill Now, their organic Rishi. So what this is, is just a capsule form um, and has the contains the Rishi in here. And I have been incorporating functional mushrooms into my supplement routine for well over a year now. It was something that was recommended to me from my naturopathic doctor when I was really struggling with my PCOS symptoms. I was doing some research into them and I stumbled upon the brand Versio Wellness. They're a small business uh, located out of Canada. And I really appreciate working with them because they have such a passion for health and for health of their consumers and also to provide education to their consumers. Um, they have a really great website that explains what mushrooms is because when I would first hear of people taking mushrooms, I thought of like hallucinogenics, which is not necessarily my journey. So when people were saying like mushrooms is good for your PCOS symptoms, I was like, 
because it makes you forget about them for a little bit. Like I don't, I don't really understand. Um, but I was able through my own research to understand what it is. Um, and also something as important of like how the mushrooms are sourced. They have all of that information on their website. So I always recommend, um, you know, to do your own research, whether it comes to makeup, whether it comes to supplements, whether it comes to your diet or your workout, um, to always do your own research. And if you try something, you know, really listen to your body and see how it responds because what works for one person might not work for another. But I really love their mushrooms and I talk about them a lot and how different mushrooms help me in different factors of my life. And when I was looking at my reports, I really thought lion's mane would be high up there because I love lion's mane. I talk about lion's mane all of the time. Lion's mane has been studied and researched and has been shown to have an impact on dementia patients, Alzheimer's disease. Um, and it's just to me is like a powerhouse mushroom. I have it every single day. There's a blend on the Aversio website. Um, it's their three mushroom blend. I put it into my tea every single morning and it helps me so much with focus and concentration. That has been one of the in my opinion, one of the biggest game changers for me when it came to my supplement routine was adding in lion's mane because I, I, I say sometimes that I feel like I, I've probably been undiagnosed with ADHD or some form of it um, because I just, I struggle so much. I always have a thousand things going on, a thousand browser windows going on. I have my phone is constantly up. My Kindle's always on next to me. Like I can't, it's really hard for me to sit down and just concentrate on one thing. And I can like feel, I don't know how to describe it, but like as I started taking Lion's Mane on a consistent basis, I can sit down on my computer and I can answer emails. I can sit down on my computer and edit an entire video. I can sit down on my computer and work on strategy or, or videos or whatever it may be. And to me, that has made such a difference in my productivity and I'm super grateful for that. So I thought when I was looking at my reports and I was seeing how many mushrooms were sold in the month of May, I was like, I think Lion's Mane is definitely gonna be a top seller, but Rishi is super popular and I'm not surprised because I think a lot of us also struggle with sleep and Rishi is to help support relaxation. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading here. I'm gonna research all the things, but Rishi mushroom is coveted for its ability to help lower both mental and physical feelings of stress and increase the quality of our sleep. Studies have demonstrated the tri the triterpenes and beta D glucans and Rishi have the potential to soothe the nerves, promoting a sedative quality that can help support restful sleep. That's just one um, example that I found. There's a lot of examples about Rishi and the correlation of better sleep, better quality sleep, and all of those things. And one thing that I really chose to focus on after getting diagnosed with PCOS and understanding I had high cortisol levels and knowing that I need to make some changes in my life, one of the first things that I focused on before diet, before fitness, was actually sleep. Because I had said for years and years, there's so many videos where I talk about I never sleep, um, I only get a couple hours of sleep at night, I'm up really late and then I'm up really early. And you know, I, I look back and it is what it is, but there's almost like a sense of pride when I would say it, like I never sleep, I work so hard. Definitely when my health took a turn, um, I have understood the importance of like, I don't need to be prideful in the fact that I try to be superwoman. Like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I also, I feel like I'm someone who's had a mindset for so many years of you have to struggle to succeed. It has to be hard for you. Um, and I think as someone who grew up in really challenging times, that's kind of all I've known is the struggle, the struggle, the struggle. And I just, in today's day and age, I just really feel like it doesn't need to be that way. You know, you hear people say like work uh, smarter, not harder and all of those things. And I still sometimes feel that I, I like, it's almost like I have to prove to people when in reality it's, it's me proving it to myself, right? That's, that's at the core of it, what it is. Um, but I just, I always feel like I have to prove my success and I have to prove that I struggled in order to get something that it didn't come easily for me. You know, sometimes I, I see videos where I, you know, talk about some, having something, whatever, and people are like, oh, it's just cause you have daddy's money. And it's like, I don't even have a dad. What are you talking about? Like, you know what I mean? So it's like you, you, I, I feel sometimes, um, that I have to really prove my worth, but that was definitely something years ago that I was so proud of. Like, wow, I just work all the time and I never sleep. And, um, I was able to see 
how detrimental that was and how beneficial sleep is to our health and just our entire being. So that was something that I really put a focus on and one thing that I started incorporating into my routine was these reishi mushrooms. And this one is the Chill Now Capsule and I'm so happy that so many people love these and can actually see a difference. I have a friend here in Las Vegas who I was out with one time and I started talking about the mushrooms and PCOS and birth control. I mean, I was going on a whole, I was like, I could talk about this stuff literally forever. Okay. I'm so passionate about it. And she was like, Oh, I think I'm going to try the reishi mushrooms. And like, I think me and my husband could benefit from them. I'm like, great. And it was months later. I ended up seeing her again. Um, I was actually at uh, a restaurant having lunch with a friend. And she walks up to me and was like, Oh my gosh, you know, it's good to see you. I was like, you too. She goes, I just really want to tell you how much I love the reishi mushrooms. And it's made such a difference for me and my husband's sleep schedule. And I was like, no way. Like, I just thought that was so cool to like have someone that I just, you know, mentioned this to in passing and was like, I would give it a try. And then they actually gave it a try. And then they actually within a few months was, was able to see a difference and then was able to tell me that like that meant so much to me. And I was so excited to hear that. So I, I think that I talk about mushrooms and my supplements a lot here on my channel, but I talk about them a hell of a lot in real life. I just went to a YouTube event. I'm filming this on Saturday. I went to a YouTube event on Thursday. I was telling everyone about how I walk nine miles, the different supplements that I take. Like I, like, I love talking about this stuff and I love, you know, hopefully making a difference when it comes to people's health. Like that to me is so important. I obviously enjoy talking about beauty and I like telling you about good skincare and good lip products and all of those things, but health is number one. Health is number one. And when I feel like I get to like actually make a, a change in someone's life because of that, that to me is what is so important. So um, I'll definitely have the Aversio Wellness website linked down below. I do have an affiliate code with them, which is just Samantha. But I would look into the different benefits of the mushrooms that they have. They have some that are capsules. They have some that are blends. Um, I pretty much, I own everything from them now. I started off buying all the products myself. I didn't become an affiliate with them until maybe eight, I want to say maybe eight or nine months after using all of the products. Um, but I love them so much. And if sleep is something that you feel like you need some help in, I would definitely look into the Rishi. Okay, halfway through at number five, we have the Color Wow. This is their Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Okay, this I'm basically out of and I'm so sad, but I have a gift card from Ulta and I just need to remember to place my order and get another one of these because this is such a good product. It's also not that expensive. I think I put it in like my splurge worthy makeup products or something like that, but I was like, it's not even that much of a splurge. I think this was one of the most inexpensive things that I talked about and you get a lot of product. It's 6.7 fluid ounces. This makes such a difference. And honestly, I don't know if I really felt like I noticed a ton of a difference when I started using it, but when I stopped using it, when I stopped using it, I was like, what's my hair doing? Why my hair looking like that? It just doesn't look as good. It's not necessarily super frizzy, but it's definitely got like more flyaways going on. It just doesn't look as shiny and bright and fresh and pretty because I started to run low on it. So then I do that thing where like I just stop using it. And I was like, mm, I can tell that something is missing in my hair care routine. And it is this from Color Wow. This is a viral product. When I first bought it, it was sold out everywhere. Like it kept selling out at Ulta and I was getting super frustrated. But now I think it stays in stock like pretty consistently. But so many people love this. I'm not surprised to see it in the bestsellers. I will be repurchasing another one for myself as well. Next up, this is a product that I've bought and I still haven't tried because I'm scared to. But a lot of you are buying it, so let me know what you think. It's the Heated Lash Curler. I had this in one of my last hauls. I said my friend Angelina brought this on our Barbados trip. You can like, you actually like plug it in and then you like turn it on and it heats up right here. And then you curl your lashes. Listen, I said, I'm not, I don't own a lash curler. Like I never curl my lashes. I don't know why, I just don't. I don't particularly love things near my eyes. And as someone who's got LASIK surgery, that was really hard for me to get through, okay? Like I had those, they gave me stress balls and I was like, <laughs> like I was like hyperventilating. I thought I was going blind at one point. Like it was a whole thing. But I don't know, lash curler, I'm, I'm gonna do it though. I'm going to. I just got to work up the nerve to do it. But for everyone who bought this, what did you think? I posted it on Instagram because I said Angelina brought it and I was thinking about getting it and then it was on sale on Amazon. So I was like, might as well get it. So I did. I just need to actually go forth and use it. 
I would love if that car stopped honking. That would be really great for me. I'm not kidding you when I say that I've been sitting here for two minutes and the car won't stop and I have to be to my friend's house. So we're just going to keep going because I don't know, I don't think it's ever gonna stop. So apologies for that. Number three, this made me so excited because this is actually a product from my brand and this popped up in my Amazon reports. Um, so I do have my own brand and it's called By Samantha March. I just mentioned in one of my last videos that we have some new products that are available. I actually saw them next to me because I just filmed that video. Um, so we have products in there like a goal tracker. I also have some post-it notes, this week at a glance um, notepad for you to fill out your schedule. I have like the deck of um, healthy habits, the deck of daily gratitude. Um, there's a 90 day planner that's available. And some of the products, I do actually produce them through Amazon and their on-demand printing. So they can also be available on Amazon. And that is where you can find the daily gratitude journal because this has actually sold out on the Buy Samantha March website. And I haven't restocked the inventory mostly because I'm gone so much. Sometimes it's a little bit hard for me to pack orders. So if I do have a place like Amazon that can ship the products as well, that actually works out so well for me but this is a daily gratitude journal this is mine so it says not for resale this is like what I get when I am approving um, like if it looks good or not but you can see here that it's just a journal that you can fill out and we have it set up so on one page it says today I'm grateful for and it just has a bunch of of lines here and then on the flip side you have like a smaller today i'm grateful for and then you have some different prompts like three highs from today healthy habits i worked on what inspired me the most and three goals for tomorrow and i mean if you can see like i love my daily gratitude journal journaling is something that has made such a big difference to me and so that's why i wanted to have something that um, that you could grab and easily fill out every single night and sometimes if you just want a free flow you can sometimes if you need those prompts to help you think about your day or your week or your month or however you're filling it out there's some you know different prompts in there for you as well and I love it's pink it's hardcover it has um, like little like gold stars all over it. it just says daily gratitude journal but that's just one of my favorite products and um, journaling is something that I feel like really has helped me out so much as well I'm I'm someone who you know I can struggle with mental health and depression and when I go through hard times I notice that I really fall back onto my journaling onto my night routine onto um, really trying to get back to making sure that I find like happiness within myself um, I actually had someone reach out to me on Instagram and I just maybe I will read you this like short clip here but Someone reached out to me on Instagram and um, asked about if I'm lonely, um, you know, I'm single, I'm divorced, I lost my dog in October, um, and just kind of how to handle like being single and, and by yourself. And you know, one thing that I said, I said, I've been very focused on being alone, journaling, and spending time doing what makes me happy. I said, I think I'm better off channeling that kind of energy into myself right now. Then we were talking in here about like find, finding someone, right? Um, I said about putting energy into myself, I said, I firmly believe when I get into a good headspace again, I'll meet someone, um, whether they come into my life for a little bit or a long time, I don't know. But I generally find myself looking forward to spending time with me. And then I know people will sense that energy. You know, it's kind of that classic, like you can't love someone unless you love yourself. And I really firmly believe that. And, um, you know, I know for me, like, after my dog passed away, I definitely had a really hard time and I really went inside a lot and did a lot of journaling and, um, you know, meditation and manifestations and all of those things. And I felt like I was in a pretty good headspace. And then all of a sudden I was meeting people left and right. And I was like, this is so crazy. What's happening? And I really felt it was like the energy that I had within myself that I was loving myself again and was feeling confident in myself and that was attracting you know different people into my life so that's just something that I, I really believe and I think that a lot of it really starts with gratitude as well and always having a good gratitude practice and sometimes it's hard especially like when Aries was battling cancer it was really hard for me to find things to be grateful for because it obviously felt like such a deep and heavy and dark time um, but it is something that I really try to focus on even writing down those really small things of gratitude um, I think are so important so I love my daily gratitude journal and it really meant so much to me that so many of you have been purchasing it as well so I hope that you're loving it it's one of my favorite things to do every single night is to write in my daily gratitude journal so again these are available on Amazon they're sold out right now on by Samantha March but we do have other products available including my novels are on there um, and I just I hope that you're enjoying them and if you could leave a review for the daily 
daily gratitude journal on Amazon if you've bought it that would be so so helpful it's how Amazon knows to like push it out and all those things so would be so grateful for any reviews and then the top two that sold in the month of may so we have the sigma beauty cool neutrals i wasn't super surprised to see this either i love these sigma eyeshadow palettes so i talk about them all of the time this one still had so many sales in the month of may so i was very excited to see that i hope that you are loving the cool neutrals palette just as much as i do again sigma has one of my top favorite formulas when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and i love the cool neutrals i think it's so beautiful i love the way it's paired with the matte and shimmers. I had a lot of you actually tell me that you've never tried the Sigma formula formula yet, but you loved um, the looks of the cool neutrals. And so you went and purchased this one and that had me so excited. I hope that you enjoy it. It's one of my favorite palettes that Sigma Beauty has done. I say that knowing that I have a lot of favorite palettes from them, but this one is definitely one of my top ones. I do have an affiliate code with Sigma, which is Samantha. And I just really hope that you are enjoying the cool neutrals palette. And then definitely the top seller. <laughs> which I'm not surprised at all about because I talk about this bag all of the time. The Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag. I love this makeup bag so much. I feel like I've made so many videos around the makeup bag, but all I want to do is make more videos because this makeup bag is bomb. This is my number one makeup bag right now for travel. I took this to Barbados. If I'm just going overnight somewhere or anything like, like this is what I'm taking. It is so handy. It has so many different compartments. It has a little zipper pouch back here. It has big, it has small, but it's so nice that when you zip it up, like it zips in this kind of shape so nothing moves around you know if you just have one big bag everything's shifting or if you have like two pockets but things are falling out nothing falls out of this bag because the way it sits the way it lays the way it zips nothing falls out nothing moves compartments so I can have like all my eye products in here I can have all my pencils in here I can have brushes in here like it fits so much I have it right now in here I have the Natasha Denona go I'm like what's all in here and you just saw me zip it up I have like multiple mascaras i have brushes in here or brushes i have a perfume in here lip products i have the catrice foundation in here i have a whole beauty sponge in here more pro like you can fit so much in this bag and i am just i'm obsessed with this one i this is one of my like just favorite items as a whole throughout the year if you want to see a like mid-year favorites video let me know because i've been working on that one too so if you want to see it definitely holler at me but this bag is awesome. When I saw how many sales were coming through with that bag, I was like, yeah, I get it. I understand. I got it in PR from Charlotte. I'm super thrilled about it, but it is available. Um, I know it's available on Ulta Beauty. Again, I'll have it linked. It'll be in the, like the, the pop-up for the YouTube shopping button. I'll have it in the description box, but I freaking love that bag. And I hope that you guys do too. If you're traveling at all, you commute to work, this is the makeup bag that you need, okay? It's the one that you need. So I'm glad so many of you have been purchasing it as well, and I hope that you're loving it. But after that, those are the top 10 products that you purchased in the month of May. Some influenced by me, some not influenced by me, but now I'm influenced by you. So let me know what you've been purchasing, and let me know if you want to see this video again for the month of June. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.